In this video, we will be examining how timecode, the data determining the time that each subtitle appears and disappears on the video, is displayed and manipulated in WinCaps. The in and out times for each subtitle are displayed to the right of the subtitle text, here. The duration is simply the difference between the two, displayed here. The timing rules will determine how WinCaps handles subtitle durations and intervals. The default subtitle display rate will control the calculation of the default subtitle duration according to the number of words or characters in it. As you can see on this new subtitle, both the in and out times are highlighted in yellow. This means they have not yet been fixed by the user and are considered floating. As the user types, the floating out time will be moved according to the timing rules. Once the in or out time is fixed by the user, it will turn white. Time codes can be fixed to the current media time or can be toggled between fixed and floating with keyboard shortcuts. Fixed time codes are still subject to timing rules and so cannot overlap other subtitles or be set in violation of rules such as the default display rate or minimum gap. As you can see, attempting to fix the out times too early results in it automatically being set to match the default duration. Attempting to set the in time too close to or overlapping previous subtitles will push the preceding out time back. If you need to override any of these restrictions, you can make a timecode explicit, which is shown by a green highlight. Explicit timecodes will not be affected by any timing rules, although they will still be prevented from overlapping.